I've drawn it out much like it like it's shaped. This is unnecessary for it, but I'm gonna try to do it that way. It just makes it more difficult to finish. This is a casting. Bing. Ka chunk ka chunk ka chunk ka chunk all day long. This would be easier if I wasn't having to follow all that. This one will be harder to find center. Because if we swept it, we're going to do this number. We're going to circle around the inside. Pause just a moment. I drew around the inside of that. We're going to try that. Because uh, no other method is going to work as easy as that is. Alright. Same set of ground clamp on. My pattern drawn. Got my gloves, got my sleeves. Got my face shield. One thing I need to know is if I want that. Lord, if I want that to be three and a half, that's got to be huge. Seven to ten and a half. I'm three eighths light here, three eighths light there, one and three quarter in. That's the center of that direction. Seven is three eighths and three eighths, and one and three quarter. That's the center there. That's my center line, right there, right where them would intersect. Let me make that intersect for you. There we go. Now you've intersected. Got my little dinger hole maker. There we go. Lord, look how big that hole will be. Oh man, I don't know if that's going to work for me. That's the question. That's the piece that has to be there. It looks like it needs all of it, doesn't it? I might can step inside the line just a little. The mite grows on the back side of livestock. I need to mark that heavy enough. See, I, I can see this. I can't see that pencil line. I doubt you can see it either. Get the machine out of my way just a little bit there. I'm trying to stay just inside of it. I don't think I have to be full full size. I don't know if this is going to work. This one's going to be challenging. And the reason be, there's not a whole lot of meat left there to, to make the gasket work. Got to have your gasket. Alright. I'm going to do it in the back and we're going to drill the holes after I cut it out, you know. I, I drilled the other holes first. I don't know how this is going to cut over that thing either. That might be a challenge. Stuff. 
Alright, following that wavy line is going to be fun too. Again, I think I'll lead just a little of the line. Alright, Ray Charles cutting that out. Uh oh. A little tension on that. I need, I need this to fall off first. So I don't have to fool with the rest of that. So let's get rid of it. MBS welding eats your heart out. I don't know how to run a torch. I was never taught that. I know it's not hard to do. I was just never taught that. Game. That's what you do. That works fine. Got the job done. Had a little knockout right there, but when I finish, I think it'll be fine. All right, clean up aisle four. That's the one I took off. Nothing in the top, quarter at the bottom. I'm not going to be able to duplicate that completely, but I do have some protrusion. And I don't know if that's necessary or not. I'm not worried about it back drawing too much. Doesn't bother me. It's only used a little bit of the time. So, that does. Sit right there. Boat hole should be lining. I don't do that yet. Let's just watch and see if I'm right. Let me see. Should be like that, maybe. That boat threaded in. I overboard the hose a little bit too, so that's going to help me. That one's ready then. Don't make me look bad. Come on. I don't need any help in that regard. Let's see here. I might have to, I might have to get a little crazy with that one. Nope. There's all three in there. Alright, that's good. That's the gasket goes behind it. I don't think that's going to be a problem. It's not going to seal off right, but I'm still going to use that. It's not a big deal. Okay. And of tools I've used, of course, the welder and the flat my cutter, the grinder to dress it up, a little flap wheel on die grinder. You should have a dozen of them. Little cut off wheel on a die grinder. This little thing puts a bevel on. A tiny bevel. It's kind of makes your finish look good. Air blower cooler it off, impact wrench. Things are used. We're fixing to get this ready to, to weld up right here. What I mean, I'm leaving too much high, too much crap. Why do I use plus cord? I 
something well through trash, garbage, rust. I don't have to be spotless clean. It allows you that. This might be a mistake, but I think I want to put a little on the back. Smelling gloves are burning, believe me. And it's hot. All that porosity. Yeah, I'd get reamed. I know that. But anyway, I'm just trying to get my pump hooked up. If it don't work, I'll do it again. And I'll be more careful. Alright, the air compressor's still on. It's built. It's not the most attractive thing ever. But I've tried fitted it, it'll work. I'm gonna pretty it up just a little bit. You know, so I can brag about it. I did this to the other one. You didn't get to see that. I say pretty up, that's a broad turn. Something like this, it don't take much to satisfy me. I don't see any need to paint it. I don't know if it'll last that long. They form follows function. Take a back seat. I say so long as I don't catch my hands on this and get hurt, I'm satisfied. I'm going to put it on the supper table and invite folks over to look at it. In fact, most people want to have it out, ain't even going to look at it. That's kind of bad. Just cooling it off because it's going to be against that rubber gas.
not heavy enough to retain a lot of heat. Put that over the rest of my stuff, right? In hand. Name a little piece of iron where you'll be still. This, this is what I've been sitting on. Need a magnet on the base. Alright. Put my glove on the ground, put my knee on, because I better put this poly bug. Yeah. What they call them? Wood life? You heard that? Wood life. Gasket fits. Well, in my opinion, pretty good right there. Put her bolt through up there. Oh. Red hat. Red hat showed up. Alright, that'll do it. I just gotta get one of them put down here too. Don't you know? Added a lot of weight. I've now put the other adapter on and I've used the pump. I'll show I'll show you it in use. But I've had a problem with it priming. I think it's just the nature of this specific pump. What I've got in mind to do is cut me a port here in the side, somewhere somewhere in this, they'll accept a garden hose. And then I can run a garden hose to it while the large pipe is in the swimming pool. This is for emptying swimming pools, above ground swimming pools. So I can put the garden hose in there, it'll be priming the pump with a shutoff valve that I can turn off when it's full vacuum and it's pulling out of the pool. And it's gonna make priming it easier. But I have tried it. I had to remove all this because I don't want to weld on it with that rubber gasket in there, with this thread tape, all this stuff. I don't want to put that much heat on something. So I'll have to remove it again, put my port, put my shut off valve. I don't particularly like the way this is pointed. I'd rather it be pointed more away from this direction, simply because of the way the, the hoses work when we're doing it. The other pump, this was 90 degrees in a given direction. Well, let's just go look at the pump. This is the pump I'm replacing. Of course, you had the, the inlet coming straight into the, the the pump itself, straight into the impeller. And then this, it, it works like a squirrel cage blower. It focuses the water in a given direction. This, I don't think it matters which direction I turn it. It's just handy if I can run my discharge a different direction than this is coming in. We'll get to that in a moment. I've been welding plastic too. This is Amazon order or whatever, and this was broken. So I've welded it back. You can see some kind of deformation there. It was busted all the way around. What happened is apparently that got onto something in shipping. You can see even the muffler sticks out a little bit. It damaged it, broke it, and if I didn't, if I didn't do my repair, it would have got dirt and grime and dust and various things in the engine. Of course, it's not gonna last long like that. So I made that repair, but this is the most important part. I don't, like I said, I don't like the way that's turning. I can't turn it the way the other one is, but I can turn it this way more and make it a little easier to get the uh, pipes pointed the way I want them.
That's the plan. Put these on top and it'll take ordinary garden hose. It'll set up for my prime. I'm thinking I'm gonna scoot it over just a little bit and make sure I do not get into that. This has worked well, but it's aggravating the prime. And what I plan on doing, hooking a garden hose to that with this piece, this piece, this piece, takes the garden hose. That must go. Let me see if I can even get it started just for appearances. Okay. So such as that. I've got to stay out of the way of that bolt. Keep that in mind. Right? And I'd like my handle to be kind of out of the way where it's not going to hit something. Right now. Let's see. It turns that way. So that would probably be a premium setup right there. Grind hard. Is uh, turn it in such a fashion as that. If I have to, I'll lop, lop a handle off or maybe even change it to something or another. But that's the plan. Uh, let's see what we can make that happen. Keep it blind. in there, something out of the pool. All right, not hating on it, but we're going to put that in there, something like that. I'm going to get my hole started first. It's going to be fun to figure out how I'm going to do that. To get a divot started in these threads, I've used that burr. I used it on a previous video working on the same project. Now I plan on drilling the hole with ordinary drill, and I'll ream it larger as I need. Keeps getting progressively larger holes as you drill. I think I'm gonna step back to the burr. Let's see how well it removes material. quick work of <laughs> removing steel. I'd like for it to pass through if it 
give me better penetration. And uh, just welding to it, sitting on the surface, it's going to be difficult with those threads. Air compressor, by the way. I stopped with this. It was going to be difficult to go vertical in those threads in that cylinder at the angle I want. So that's why I abandoned that for that. We're getting really close. With that medication, I don't need water. And that's what I use soapy water. Good, I've already leveled across those bolt holes. They're really close. That's very close. Right there it is. That's what I wanted to look like on the machine. 
I ream the inside with the burr to give us a tapered edge. It'll flow better that, re that way. Then the idea is I'm going to just tack it a little bit where I can still move it, put it back on the machine, and adjust it like I want it. Try not to alter it in any way than, than what I've adjusted it. And then weld it out. Help me. I have to tack this one handy. One glove. Look at all our little filing. It's stuck in water. Anyway, take it over here to the machine and see if we like that. I know that's going to be a problem. I've already lost that rubber washer goes in there. It's around here somewhere. I think that's, I think that'll work. I like the wet looks from back here. So I believe I'll weld that out and we're going to try it. The theory is, this is a three inch. For every foot of it, how much, how much water weight do we have? And this is going to be a garden hose for however how many foot of it, how much water weight do we have? I'm thinking this will initiate the cycle and get it to siphoning, pulling. And then once I get to that point, I'll shut the valve off and then this will finish it out. And I'll be able to unhook the hose.
down there a little more. I didn't like the first pass. Closer. Well, you can see my finger down there. I'm not touching that because it's uh, extremely hot. I just need to let that rest. You see these little, if you don't weld, you see these little balls that's on there? I don't know if you see them right there. There's one right there. Those need kind of cleaned off because they'll ball booger up the threads on the other piece that's how it goes i've cleaned up the inside air compressor running it's cool enough into it air i need the air pressure to cool it off Wheeling her up got a Triangle file. Chasing those little welder balls off. Batter. I'm one to say don't drag it, the file. I'm not dragging it hard, I'm lightly the back stroke. Side. That looks pretty good. I'm, that ain't catching on anything. Straight down through there. Oh, I need your. Uh, don't get your stool. Before I put it on, it would just be easier for me to go on and put all this together. Turn it orientation I'm happy with. Now I don't have to. Makes sense. We don't have to do that. All right, folks, moment of truth. Let's see if this is going to cooperate. That one started. That one started. You don't know. When you're working on something multiple boats, you make sure you get them all started before you go to putting a whammy on them. And an equal whammy is key. I'm satisfied. I'll be able to hook a garden hose to that. And when the pump actually takes off, I can turn it off and that'll pull through the three inch. Let me get it all back together and we'll give it a test run. And that'll be the end of it.